Hey, it's the Ultimate Handyman. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and cleanest way on how to install a toilet. Now this video is going to save you a ton of money and this is also a really good skill to learn. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the water to the toilet. The valve is usually located on the left hand side of the toilet and we're going to turn the valve clockwise. Now I'm going to flush the toilet. You want to hold the lever down until all of the water is drained out of the tank and there will be some residual water left in the tank, maybe about an inch of it, and then there'll be some water in the toilet bowl. Now to keep this job nice and clean, we're going to use a product called Liquid Lock Water Absorbing Crystals. We're going to pour one bag of it into the toilet tank and one bag into the toilet bowl and that is going to absorb all the water and turn it into like a gel so that when you remove the toilet, it doesn't make a huge mess all of the floor and all over your house. Next, we're going to remove the hose connected to the toilet tank by unscrewing it with your hand. There is going to be some water, so I recommend putting a towel on the floor to catch some of this water that comes out. Next, we're going to remove the caps that cover the nuts that hold the toilet down to the flange. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver and pry them up. Now we need to unscrew the nuts that are holding the toilet to the flange. There are two of them, one on each side. We're going to take a crescent wrench, or you can use any kind of wrench or socket that you have laying around. Well, anything will work. And we're just going to unscrew each one, and that will loosen up the toilet. If the toilet has been caulked to the floor, you're going to have to take a razor knife, and you're going to have to go around and score the caulking so that when you try to remove it, it pops free. Next, I'm going to take some Husky Contractor cleanup bags, and we're going to take one and open it up and then prop the opening up right in front of the toilet. Now I recommend you use these heavy duty bags because if you use a thin flimsy bag, they're gonna rip and it's gonna be a big mess all over your floor. The bag is gonna keep anything that's nasty under the toilet uh, in the bag so it doesn't go all over your house and uh, make a big mess. So I'm taking the bag right now and I'm just kind of lifting it up over the back of the toilet and then I'm gonna take the front of it and we're gonna pick it up and pull it over the front of the toilet uh, seat so it's all nice and sealed in. So I'm just gonna take the toilet and move it out of the bathroom. So here's what it looks like under the toilet. Now there's usually a wax ring stuck down but it actually came off with the toilet. Now normally they do stick to the toilet flange so I'm gonna show you what that looks like and how to remove it. So you're gonna take a wooden shim and you're just gonna scrape around the uh, wax ring to break it loose. And there's like a little piece of plastic usually inside these wax rings, so make sure that comes out as well. And then you're just going to scrape around if there's any residual wax, and then you're going to throw everything away so it uh, keeps it nice and clean. Now we're going to remove the stud bolts that hold the toilet down to the flange. You're just going to loosen them up and then slide them out. Now I'm going to be installing some new toilet studs. Now you need to make sure that these are in the right direction so for demonstration purposes, I've set one on top of this orange flange so you can see the orientation this is supposed to be in. Now do you see how the wider part of the head of it has more metal to grab onto? This is the correct way to do it. Now if you installed it sideways and the narrower part of the head is uh, against the flange. There's not a lot of metal for it to grab onto and these can pull through that thin sheet metal and pop loose when you're tightening up the toilet. Now to keep the stud from spinning on you and to keep it in the right direction what I do is I put a washer over the stud and then I'll put a nut down and I will tighten it up so it keeps it locked on to that flange so it cannot spin or move out of place. Before I install the new wax ring or the toilet, I like to clean up any caulking residue or any nasty, grimy stuff that might have been under the old toilet. Next, I'm gonna be installing the wax ring, but before I do that, I wanna to talk to you about the toilet flange. Now, a properly installed toilet flange should be installed on top of your finished flooring. Now, in most cases that I've come across when I've replaced toilets or uh, repaired them, is that the flange is actually lower than the floor because most people replace their floors with uh, tile and depending on how thick they put the mortar bed or hardy backer that can bring it down a quarter to a half an inch lower than the finished floor. So in that case I think you can get away with using an extra thick wax ring for the job. Now if the flange is any lower than that you might want to 
put a flange extender and bring it back up to the proper level. Now if the flange is installed properly on top of the floor or it's just uh, pretty much flush with it, you can go ahead and use the standard wax ring that comes with any toilet. Now it's time to install the toilet. Now toilets are very heavy so if you're not able to lift a lot of weight, this toilet's probably almost, uh, it's probably 90 pound toilet. Get a friend to help you out and all you're going to do is line up the bolt holes and then once you feel it hit the wax, you're going to let it uh, compress the wax until it touches the floor. Now if you don't feel the wax compressing at all, you're going to need to either use a thicker wax ring or raise that toilet flange up. So we're going to be installing these toilet cap washers. Make sure you have the writing up where it says this side up. Now we're going to put a metal washer on top of that and then our nut. A lot of times we'll come with a nut. This toilet came with uh, wing nuts. Uh, both are fine. And then we're going to tighten each wing nut until they're snug. There's one on each side of the toilet. Now if you tighten everything up and the toilet has a slight rock in it, you can shim it using a wood shim. So I just like to pound the shims under the uh, low point. And then I will take a razor knife and score them. And now you can break them off and the toilet should be nice and uh, sturdy and not rock anymore. So there are two caps for each side of the toilet that cover the bolts. You're just gonna put them over the bolts and then push firmly and they should snap right into place. So now I'm gonna reconnect the water line to the toilet. I actually replaced the line with a new one. Uh, depending on how good your hose is, you can maybe reuse it, but I do recommend replacing it. And I'm just going to do a hand snug on the water line where it connects to the toilet and then the other side will be snugged up with a wrench. Now I'm going to turn the water back onto the toilet by turning it counterclockwise. Next I'm going to be installing the toilet tank lid and the toilet seat. So the toilet seat has these two little rubber pads that get installed on the bottom. Now I wanted to mention not all toilet seats are the same, so follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to install yours. Then you just set the toilet seat on the bowl and then you open up these two plastic covers so you can access the holes. Now it comes with two plastic bolts and then a, there's two washers. So you're gonna stick a washer on, put one in each of the holes, one of the bolts. So to tighten up the bolts on this toilet, I'm gonna to be using a flathead screwdriver. And then just, we're just gonna take the nut and stick it up underneath the toilet and get it started by hand. And then we can uh, tighten it up with a screwdriver. Now I can close the little bolt head covers. Next, I'm gonna perform a leak test. I like to flush the toilet at least five times. Check around the base of the toilet for any water. Also check the hoses and the valve because sometimes those valves can develop leaks. Now after everything is good with the leaks, we're going to caulk the toilet using this white DAP premium kitchen and bath of adhesive and sealant. Now I'm going to take my caulking gun with the caulking and I'm going to run a nice even bead from starting from the back of the toilet all the way to the other side of the toilet to the back and I'm going to leave about I'd say an inch to two open in the back of the toilet and I'll explain to you why later. Now I'm going to take a damp sponge. I'm going to wet my finger with the sponge and we're going to push firmly against the side of the toilet and on the tile and wipe up any of the excess caulking that we don't need. I kind of went overboard in the video because I was trying to film. But now we're going to take the damp sponge and we're going to use it to clean up any excess caulking on the floor. I'm going to re-wipe it with my finger again, pushing really firmly against the tile. And then we'll just wipe it again. Always clean your sponge in between. Now I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm going to clean up the grout lines to get rid of that excess caulking that wiped into the grout lines. Now I'm gonna take this dry paper towel and wipe up some of that excess moisture on the tile floor. Be very careful not to hit the caulking because you'll have to start over again. So getting back to why we left that gap in the back of the toilet, here's the gap. Now the reason we're doing that is so if the toilet seal ever leaks, the water will have a place to run out so that we can see if the toilet seal has failed. So after you're done cleaning up the caulking, it should look like this. Nice, uniform lines, super clean, almost like a machined look. 
Unfortunately, most people do caulking jobs like this one on the left, where it looks like a blind person did it. So one final tip, I would take the old toilet, stick it in the box that the new toilet came in, put all the trash in that box, seal it up, and it makes it nice and easy to remove from your house, and it keeps your house nice and clean. So that is how you install a toilet, the clean and easy way. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. And I also wanted to ask you for a huge favor. I spend a lot of time making these videos and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I think we're actually past the halfway point, which is pretty amazing. So hit that subscribe button. Also ring the notification bell so you can be notified when I post my latest how-to videos. And please share these with your family and friends. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you the next project. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos right here.